This is the yeah. Tenergy Desert Buggy. Did some work to it. Put new wheels and tires on it. Uh, rear springs. Got a front aluminum blitz bulkhead A-arm mount slash type thing. Um, put hinge pins throughout it. Put the correct bearings in it. Correct screws. Tighten a bunch of screws down. Still running the stock ESC and motor. Put a uh, DX3S radio system to it. Uh, Savox steering servo. Um, and in the back here, right about here, I had to hog out uh, a little bit of the A-arm because the dog bone was hitting it. I also, it's going to be hard to tell, I just put this tire on here just to see what it would look like. It makes it a little um, front in the sky happy. And I got a little trick I did to uh, make the, e the body easier to pull off, off and on instead of fighting with it. Cut the whole back section out here, and um, it just seems to be a lot easier to pull the body off that way. I am going to replace the turnbuckles front and rear uh, with thicker ones because I know that's a problem with this with this buggy. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of what else. Change the shock oil out, but I am going to put better shock oil in it. Uh, I don't know if you can really tell, but here's part of the aluminum uh, piece for the blitz. And otherwise than that, I'm gonna build gonna build this rear section here out of aluminum because I know there's an issue with that breaking. Um, and probably get these here, the the, the C hubs and uh, the steering knuckles maybe out of aluminum and same thing with the rear hub carriers. That way it can become a decent buggy. It, which it really is not that bad of a buggy for the price anyways. Um, you just gotta, you know, it's not really uh, a buggy that can take a 20 foot jump without breaking something but then again what really could um, just pop these back off pop that off and the front comes off and there's what the inside of the buggy looks like running on a two cell lipo I do have the Savox servo and my SR300 uh, receiver running a two cell lipo in it still has the original ESC and motor again still farting around with it um, I did manage to this there's a piece in here it's hard to hard to see but there's a piece right here that I made it's off an RC 10 uh, excuse me an SC 10 four-wheel drive it's the rear toe block and I cut it in half lengthwise when I was able to put it on to keep the front pins from coming out um, otherwise than that, I went through and tightened some a few screws in the whole uh, buggy. Messed around with the camber and the toe and everything like that. And it seems to be a pretty formidable buggy. Um, some people are going to argue why waste the time. It was a gift to me. It's what I uh, what I have now. Um, you know, it's not an associated. It's not a Kyosho. It's not a, a Losi. But this is mine. And I have been doing work to it to go against the other buggies. Um, you know, so we'll see what happens with that. Otherwise than that, aluminum hexes I'm going to be getting. Uh, again, different wheels and tires makes a huge difference from the stock tires, which the tread's nice. It's good for, you know, like a road and soft dirt type thing. But for kind of a clay track, it's not really going to be a good... Uh, tire choice um, but otherwise than that I'm pretty happy with it you know just a little bit of work here and there I replaced put a different spur gear on it uh, from another buggy to be able to make that work um, it does sound a little funky I'm gonna pull the um, probably gonna pull the original um, pinion back out of it and uh, put place another one in there it is the hollow pinion and I uh, just wanted to get this off and uh, you know see how it worked Thanks for watching.